Welcome to today's video, where we will explore the intriguing world of Nesra and Gasara, two acronyms that have gained popularity in recent years. But what do these terms really mean, and what impact could they have on our world? In this 1,300-word video, we will delve into the concepts of Nesra and Gasara, their history, and their significance in the context of a global economic reset. Let's begin with Nesra, which stands for the National Economic Security and Reformation Act. This piece of legislation is believed by some to have been proposed in the late 20th century, but it never became law. However, conspiracy theories and misinformation have led many to believe in the existence of Nesra. Nesra proponents claim that the act was designed to bring about sweeping financial and economic reforms in the United States. It was purported to abolish the Federal Reserve, eliminate income taxes, and return the country to a gold-backed currency. In essence, Nesra was envisioned as a means to reset the American economy and eradicate the control of a select few over the financial system. It's crucial to clarify that Nesra has never been passed into law, and there is no credible evidence to support its existence. The misinformation surrounding Nesra has led to numerous scams and fraudulent schemes taking advantage of those who believe in its existence. Moving on to GASARA, which stands for the Global Economic Security and Reformation Act. Unlike NESRA, GASARA is an even more recent concept and is believed to be a global version of the same economic reforms. It is often associated with the idea of a global reset. The premise of GASARA is that it aims to provide financial security and reform on a global scale. Proponents argue that it would eliminate poverty, debt, and inequality while transitioning the world to a new financial system. As with Nesra, it is important to note that Gasara also lacks any basis in reality. There is no legitimate documentation or official action that supports the existence of Gasara as a global law or treaty. The widespread belief in Nesra and Gasara can be largely attributed to conspiracy theories and misinformation on the internet. These theories often draw from the distrust of established financial systems and institutions. Social media platforms, websites, and YouTube channels have played a significant role in spreading these conspiracy theories. They often mix kernels of truth with fictional narratives, making it challenging for individuals to discern fact from fiction. The allure of Nesra and Gasara lies in the promise of a better future. People are naturally drawn to the idea of a fairer financial system, the elimination of debt, and the prospect of financial abundance for all. This appeal has led many to suspend their skepticism and embrace these concepts. To understand why concepts like Nesra and Gasara resonate with people, we must consider the global economic landscape. Economic instability, income inequality, and financial crises have eroded trust in established systems. People are searching for solutions, and these concepts seem to provide hope. It's important to acknowledge that there are genuine economic challenges that need to be addressed, such as income inequality, financial crises, and unsustainable debt. While Nesra and Gasara might offer utopian solutions, they lack a credible foundation for implementation. Despite the lack of credibility behind Nesra and Gasara, the discussions around these concepts can serve as a catalyst for meaningful conversations about economic reform and financial security. There is a need for substantial economic and financial reforms on both national and global scales. Addressing issues like income inequality, debt burdens, and the control of financial institutions is essential to creating a more equitable and sustainable world. There are legitimate movements and organizations working to address these issues. Reforms and changes should be sought through established legal and political processes, not through baseless conspiracy theories. In conclusion, while Nesra and Gasara may sound appealing in their promise of economic reform and financial security, it's essential to approach these concepts with skepticism and a critical eye. These ideas lack a factual basis and should not be relied upon for real change. Instead, individuals concerned about economic and financial issues should focus on engaging with legitimate movements and organizations working to bring about positive change. A more just and equitable economic system is possible, but it will require informed and responsible efforts to achieve. Thank you for watching this video on the meaning and implications of Nesra and Gasara. 
If you found this information valuable, please like and share this video to help dispel misinformation and encourage informed discussions about economic reform.